Hi guys, so welcome to the next episode of the basement renovation art studio project thing. What is this called again? <laughs> um my uh how to make a basement art studio series i suppose is what this is or let's create a basement art studio right is that what this is i think so so um welcome to this episode and in today's episode first of all i want to show you the progress that i've made since the last episode and i also want to show you some things that we picked up at lowe's so here's the progress that's been made since the last episode. You can see that not the entire back wall is covered in one layer, but almost the entire back wall. Um, so that is where we're at. So let me show you the things we picked up at Lowe's. Okay guys, so we're in the basement and this is, these are some of the things we got. We got some wasp and hornet spray to kill the yellow jackets because they're evil and we got some hummingbird and butterfly garden wildflower seedlings seed mixture I don't know, like I said seedlings we got some hollyhock that we can plant pretty excited about this good thing we didn't plant it yet I, we were planning to plant it planning to plant them um, like last weekend or whatever, but <laughs> good thing we didn't because it's supposed to snow tomorrow. And I got some flow troll. Hold on. I'm trying to, trying to get it. I'm trying. Mm, it's very heavy. Got some flow troll for my acrylic paint pours. And what else did we get? We got those, um, floor chips that I already showed you. I mean, I mean, oh, we got like some weed killer spray. Super, super glamorous. As you can see, we picked up some different floor samples. Um, and these are our two favorites out of the five that we uh, picked up from Lowe's. I'll show you the other three in a moment. But we're trying to decide between these two. And um, I, I don't know, I can't really decide. It's like the darker one probably will give it more contrast um of course it definitely will give it more contrast compared to the walls um but the lighter one will make the whole space brighter so it's really tough for me to decide um and then let me show you the other three so here are the other three that we just did not like um especially me they were these three we just didn't feel like they would go well at all. This dark one just looks too dark. And you can see it, like, in comparison to the walls behind me. Um, it just it just looks too dark for down here. Because in theory, like, at the store, I was like, this kind of looks cool. It might have some good contrast, but it just looks too dark. Then this one, I don't know, it looks too warm tone. Um... It just, it has too much of a, I don't know, like, just a warm tone. Like a yellowy, orangey, brown, weird tone. It just kind of clashes. See how much it clashes with the walls in the background? It really clashes, I think. Um, and then this one we didn't like. It just looked like it blended in too much. And as you can see, it's blending in quite a bit right now with the wall over there. It's just blending right in. So, and these three we did not like. Um, in case you guys are interested in them, are this one is Velmont Chestnut. The one, this is the one that looks a lot like the wall over there. And the medium one, the warm, kind of like it was too warm for us, is the Newport Pine. So that's what that one looks like. And then this one is. What is this one? Chesterfield Hackberry, um, Allen and Roth brand. That's what the really dark one is. But the two that we are we are really liking, and we are not sure which one we want to choose from yet, are uh, the Natural Floors brand, and the product name is Locking Glacial Woven Bamboo. What? Why is it such a long name? And the lighter one we like is from Allen and Roth brand, and it's Seaside Chestnut. So those are the two we're trying to pick from. 
And let me just give you guys a close up so you can better see. And then, you know, if I kind of do this, you can see what they look like when white is, you know, reflecting off of them and everything. This, um, let's see. This one's very, very matte. There's just like a semi gloss to it. This one's got more of a gloss to it than the other one. You can see the texture. They each have pretty cool textures to them as well. Um, but I don't know. I'm leaning toward the darker one, guys. But let me know what you guys think. It, it won't necessarily change my mind, but I haven't even made up my mind yet. So it couldn't hurt. So let me know which one you guys like better. And just so you can see them. Uh, that's not helpful at all. <laughs> let me move this. So you can actually see. So here's what they look like right up against the wall. Just to give you an idea. This wall has been painted already um, ever since we've lived here. We didn't paint it so I don't know the exact color. I'm assuming it's just some kind of white that the, the wall is. But um, so just to give you an idea. Here's what they look like down on the floor. So if I go over here and I kind of zoom in, maybe you can get an idea of what it might look like. And then here's the lighter one. Yeah, so that's just where my mind is at with these colors. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on them. Um, I think it's kind of interesting, but we, we actually haven't even decided if we're going to put down a floor like this. Um, I told hubby that I might just stay with this ugly carpet that I have in here for now and just buy like a linen drop cloth to cover the entire floor so that it gives the illusion that I have a more, um, I don't know, a more cohesive look, a more clean floor. Plus it will protect the carpet. Not that we really need to protect this carpet considering it really is damaged in places and needs ripped out real bad. But um, I just don't know if I want to rip it up yet or if I just want to put a drop cloth over it because it's going to be a lot of work and a lot of money to change the floors. Um, is it doable? Yeah. But is it worth it? I'm not quite sure yet. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and I will tell you guys that this basement is, sorry about that. <laughs> Hold on. I will tell you guys that this basement is definitely pretty chilly. Like I am wearing a sleeveless shirt right now, but I do feel pretty chilly and I would rather have some kind of long sleeves on right now. That's just how I'm feeling. Um, just because of just how cold it is down here. But that might also be a factor. I think hubby is really thinking we really should just rip up the floors and just redo them because honestly, I don't know, it's just, it just, it needs to be redone anyways eventually uh, to make the value of our home go up. Because one day we might sell this house, we might move somewhere else. You never know, and it would be nice to just keep making the value of the property go up, up, up. But, um, yeah, uh, I guess you're just going to see some footage of me painting this studio the rest of this video. So, I hope you enjoy, and don't forget to leave a like if you do. And, yeah, um, subscribe if you want to see more of my art-related videos and my art studio reno videos like this one. And, yeah, enjoy the, the rest of this vlog. <laughs>
I'm down here in the basement, but I'm not gonna stay down here because I have other stuff to do. Luna, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, here's the dark side. Dark side of the basement. Luna, what are you doing down there? You crazy kitty. Crazy kitty, okay. So, here's where we're at on the basement. So, ooh, you can't see it all. That's a little better. But yeah, I did all of this myself. I mean, hubby helped me like set up things, but I painted it myself. And I actually ended up having to add this sheet down here. Oh, I just stepped on that. I had to add this sheet down here as extra drop cloth because there wasn't enough drop cloth for this whole wall. So basically, just to give you guys an idea, there are two coats right here. You can tell. See the difference? There are two coats of primer here. There's one, like right here, there's one coat of primer. But there's a second coat of primer on the seams, or the cracks, or whatever you want to call them. And then over here, this little sliver is just one coat. Just one coat. So, that's where we're at. Yeah, basically, last night I just decided, hey, I don't feel like painting the wall tonight. I'm just going to do some concept sketches. So, last night I did some concept sketches, and you probably already saw that in the Monday art vlog. But look how cute these windows are. Guys, I love my little windows. They're really disgusting inside though. Please don't judge me. I vacuumed them out, but like, they're just really, they're still really gross. They need like a proper cleansing. But yeah, at least the dead bugs are pretty much all vacuumed. Oh wait, there's one left out in the dark but yeah and then um my neighbor's yard is like super beautiful they have like a forest which i'm actually always afraid one of those trees is gonna like fall and hit our house during a storm but so far so far so good but like look how pretty so we got a pretty cute view over that way oh here's my little mini fridge ah! oh my god oh sorry i have my paint roller in there <laughs> But yeah, here's my little mini fridge. It was my brother's. But, uh, I bought it from him when he moved. And then there's a bunch of lighting equipment I'm gonna set up after we have more of this accomplished and finished. But yeah, that's where we're at. So, Luna, let's go back upstairs, Bane. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update, as per usual. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye! So before I go, I just want to shout out my patrons. They're on the screen right now. And I just want to thank them so much for supporting me. They're always so super kind and sweet and they help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for being patrons.